Europeans first arrived at Easter Island in the 17th century to colonize it. But they found the society in a primitive state with people living in a desperate attempt to supplement the meager food supplies. What amazed the Europeans was the evidence of a once flourishing and advanced society. These poor barbarians cannot be responsible for such technologically complex tasks as carrying, transporting and erecting the statues, thought Europeans. So they came up with different explanations. But the history of Easter Island is not one of lost civilization. Rather, it is a striking example of the dependence of human society on their environment and of the consequence of irreversibly damaging the environment. Easter Island was colonized by the Polynesians who came from Southeast Asia. Polynesians were the world's best navigators. They explored and settled a great expanse of Pacific Ocean. Easter Island had limited resources. The climate was too severe for semi-tropical plants that islanders brought with them. Because of the remoteness of the island, it had only a few species of flora, no mammals, and few fishes. The inhabitants were therefore restricted to a diet based mainly on sweet potato and chickens. Sweet potato is not a demanding crop, hence left plenty of time for other activities. As a result, islanders engaged in monument construction. Each clan took its pride in the construction of maximum number of statues. The most challenging problem was to transport the statues. As a solution, they used tree trunks like rollers resulting in the deforestation of all island. Shortage of trees forced people to stop building canoes and stop navigation. Fishing was also more difficult because nets were made from mulberry tree. Soil erosion increased and crop yield decreased. Diminishing resources resulted in permanent warfare. Once a complex society collapsed into near barbarism. Without the timber to build canoes, the islanders lost their identity as navigators and were forever stuck on the island. When Europeans asked the primitive islanders about the giant figures, they could no longer remember what their ancestors had achieved. Cultural ambition of their ancestors proved too gruesome for their society. Like Easter Island, Earth has only limited resources to support us. Like the islanders, we are wasting these resources for satisfying our ego. Like them, we have no practical means to escape. We have been successful in extracting more resources to run our technologically advanced society, but have we been successful in finding a way of life that does not fairly deplete the resources that are available to us?